Welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed the last video around Monaco. It kind of dawned on me that there is a sort of another circuit where there's some sort of intrigue about how fast the supercar would go around it. That's obviously going to be the Nordschleife Nürburgring. So, yeah, let's crack on. Let's see what lap time this thing can produce. Now, I've got to do a sort of slow out lap because I'm not sure the tyres tires are modelled 100% accurately because there's always going to be a compromise in a car sim in terms of how car tyres behave. So they're kind of a, a unique thing. I know, there's, you know, physics is physics, but the way a car works is kind of different to a car, so there's always going to be limiting factors. But I think so far the actual sim hand handles really well. Um, but if I do a too fast out lap, my um, tyres end, end up getting destroyed. I've got coffee here. So, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. Uh, I've already done a lap and I crashed on the last corner so I've got to do this all again. Um, that's life, I guess. Uh, in terms of the setup, I've gone for a pretty stock setup. I haven't messed about with it too much because I think once you start going into the realms of setup and stuff, you kind of start pushing it beyond the realms of what it probably would do in reality. Because um, you start figuring out, figuring out all the little tricks and stuff. So. Other than that, we are ready to go. Alright then, let's get this lap sorted. One of the limiting factors is top speed. I think that's probably where we're going to lose most of our time. I think we're probably going to be under 7 minutes. I'm, I'm sure of that actually. Um, so that's pretty quick. I'm going to be doing the sort of minus the modern track layout. I think a lot of the road car lap times are set with. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the new circuit, so I, I couldn't be bothered to do that. Uh, I'm going to give the curbs a bit of a wide berth because they're lethal in a car. The bumps in some places are horrendous, um, so in real life it might be a bit of a struggle to get round. But let's see what um, is theoretically possible. Here we go. The bump into this left hand is crazy, so I've got to take it a bit easy. Here we go. Let's go. I've got to be careful not to destroy the tyres. Bumps, jeez. Survived. We've survived the first sector. Light out. Don't turn any more than you need to. There, anyway. We can't really get more than two, two hundred and forty-five kilometers an hour. I haven't really messed with wing settings so I don't know what the optimal gearing and wings are. Lost a bit of time there. Best to be safe. Push later on in the lap. So that bit's so fun in a car because when you're in a big GT car, so it feels a bit pony. You just absolutely hammer it through. And then that was terrible. Sorry for that, guys. Ooh. That's the 
rice cooked. Okay, we got traffic, so that's a nightmare. still on that left hander. Knowing our factor AI, this guy's gonna crash right in front of us. And that is not how to take that corner. Losing time up this straight. Alright. The big ovaries corner coming up. I had to lift the time a bit. Just to make sure I got through and finish the lap. This is easy flat. I'm not going to go into the carousel here because I just don't think you could in reality in a car. So instead I'm going to ride the wall. Alan, sorry about that guys. I'm not going to do another lap, I can't be bothered. <laughs> so just erase that from your memory. Starting to skit about here. Ties are giving up a little bit. Bumps at the apex, man, they just absolute killer. Oh, we're gonna catch this guy right at the wrong point. Ooh, that is not the place to get a big oversteer. He's off. He's predicted. I'm going to go into this one because we've got a little bit of time to make up. So quick, it's so quick through the twisty stuff, and then you hit this big back straight. And even I, I guess it would feel pretty rapid if you were sat this close to the floor, but I really want to get a quick time. I reckon we'll get a 654 looking at the splits. That's pretty quick. take it easy to me because I crashed on my last flyer, which is a bit embarrassing. One fifty three. There you go. Well, that's 
What, would, what time would we have done? Let's have a look. I think I might have read that wrong. Yeah, 6.54. Pretty quick, that. I think in reality, I don't think you'd be that far off in a supercar. Maybe quicker, who knows? But um, that's a pretty quick time. Yeah, so now we know how fast the supercar goes around Nordschleife and there's only uh, one thing left to do and that's try it in reality. I think they, they have they have let carts go around before on like a parade lap, but I don't think anyone's take, been brave enough, brave enough to take a supercar out. They take bikes out, so I guess it's not outside the realms of possibility. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you've got some more videos up coming up soon. Um, you know, make sure you subscribe and all that shabazz. Check out my Patreon, links below. Um, I've got a video coming up, I think, about uh, the karting on the Isle of Man, which was quite a cool, a cool bit of history that we've... I think everyone's familiar with the onboard of the 250 going around, but I wanted to talk about it a little bit more, so that'd be good. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, catch you up soon.